If you're following along, we've been building a blog. So far, we have a static index template, and we're about to make some custom fields in our first blueprint. So let's do this. All right, let's head to the blueprint section. We'll go to our blog collection, and here is the blueprint the blueprint editor. So here is where we can create tabs and inside each tab you create custom fields and they can be anything you want. So right now we just have a title, a slug and a date field. And let's look at what we're gonna be building here. Just the, uh, the very basics. We've got an image, so we need an image field. We've got a title, we know there's dates. Um, so we have most of the thing, but we do need to add uh, definitely a content field and this asset or this image field. So let's do that. All right, we're gonna create a field here for that image. We'll call it featured. Wow, we're gonna call it <laughs> featured image. And we're gonna come down, you gotta choose the container and we'll just pick the default assets container. And then we're gonna allow new file uploads. We're gonna set files max files to one. You only need one featured image. And uh, that should be good, so we'll finish that field. Now we're gonna create a content field. We can use Bard. Not gonna worry about sets today. We can do that in another episode. We'll just create, use this as our, our WYSIWYG field. And we're gonna choose, uh, do we wanna enable any of these other things? Maybe we'll allow code blocks. Maybe this is a developer's blog. Uh, we'll turn on the inline code button and uh, maybe strike through. I like to use strike through sometimes, all right. Uh, we're going to also use the assets container for uploading assets. I like the fixed toolbar. Um, yeah, the rest of this, we're going to enable the show read time because that's kind of a fun little feature. And we'll call this um, blog content. All right, looks good. We'll hit finish. And we've got that featured image. We've got the blog content. Uh, oh, and we also should have a um, an author field. So let's add that. So we'll call author max items is one. And we'll save that. Save, go back to our blog collection. We're going to create an entry and let's make sure all of those fields are present here. Okay, so we've got the date because we enabled that on the collection level. We've got our slug field, title, featured image, blog content, and author. All right, this is looking pretty good. Before I go and create a bunch of example entries, let's jump back to the blueprints one more time, just to get used to it. And let's create a new tab, all right? So let's add a section called meta. And this is where you're, if you wanna do some SEO type stuff, you wanna set those meta title, meta description, and, uh, and all that, you can set, this is how I like to do it, if you're not using the SEO Pro add-on. So let's create a text field, we'll call it meta title. Now the, the ideal meta title length is 60 characters. If you Google it, you'll find that information. And then we'll do a meta description. This will be a text area, a little bit more content. Meta description. And that is usually more like 160 or so. So we'll set those and hit save. Now let's go back to our blog collection. Let's create that entry and see that tab. All right, so now we have this meta title, meta description, and you can see it will show you how long those, uh, those fields are as you use them. And we'll pull those into the template. We'll make some sample entries and we'll start coding that up in the next video.